Hypospadias, Understanding a Common Condition in Baby Boys. Welcome to the BBZ channel. Today we're discussing an important topic for parents of baby boys called hypospadias. If you're unfamiliar with this term, don't worry. We're here to provide clear, compassionate information to help you understand this common condition. Hypospadias is a condition where the opening of the urethra is not at the tip of the penis, but on the underside instead. This happens when the slit of the male penis is horizontal instead of vertical. Let's explain a bit more about hypospadias. Hypospadias is a congenital condition where the opening of the urethra, the tube through which urine exits the body, is not located at the tip of the penis. Instead, it may be found along the underside, often with the slit oriented horizontally rather than vertically. This condition occurs in about 1 in every 200 to 300 male births. This condition can range from mild to severe, depending on the location of the urethral opening. In severe cases, the opening can be located near the scrotum, which can make it difficult for the boy to urinate properly. Hypospadias can vary in severity. In mild cases, the urethral opening is close to its normal position. In more severe cases, it may be further down the shaft or even near the scrotum. What are some common causes and risk factors? The exact cause of hypospadias isn't fully understood, but it is believed to result from a combination of genetic and environmental factors. During fetal development, certain hormones help shape the male reproductive organs. If something disrupts this process, it can lead to hypospadias. Family history can also play a role. If a father or sibling has hypospadias, the risk for a baby boy may be higher. Other factors might include maternal age, certain medications taken during pregnancy, or exposure to environmental toxins. Some studies suggest that exposure to certain chemicals during pregnancy may increase the risk of hypospadias. The cause of hypospadias is not entirely clear, but researchers believe that both genetic and environmental factors play a role. Are there symptoms of hypospadias? Hypospadias is usually diagnosed shortly after birth during a routine physical examination. The condition is typically easy to identify, and your health care provider will assess its severity. In most cases, no additional tests are needed, but your pediatrician might refer you to a pediatric urologist for a more detailed evaluation. What are the treatment options? The good news is that hypospadias can be treated with surgery. The surgery is usually performed when the boy is between 6 and 18 months old and involves repositioning the opening of the urethra to the tip of the penis. Treatment for hypospadias typically involves surgery, especially if the condition affects the child's ability to urinate properly or causes other issues. The goal of surgery is to reposition the urethral opening to its correct location and ensure the penis functions normally. Surgery is usually performed when the child is between 6 and 18 months old. It's a common procedure with a high success rate, and most boys recover quickly and go on to lead normal, healthy lives. After surgery, your child may need some time to heal, but with proper care, recovery is generally smooth. Your health care provider will give you specific instructions on how to care for your baby during this time. It's important to keep the surgical site clean and to follow any guidelines provided by your doctor. Most children can resume normal activities within a few weeks. Are there any short-term or long-term emotional and psychological considerations? While hypospadias is a physical condition, it's natural for parents to have emotional concerns as well. It can be helpful to talk to a counselor or join a support group for families going through similar experiences. It's important to note that most boys with hypospadias go on to live healthy, normal lives after surgery. However, it's important to follow up with the doctor to ensure that the surgery was successful and that there are no complications. Remember, you're not alone. Many parents have navigated this journey, and with the right support, you can too. Most boys with hypospadias grow up to have normal urinary function and a typical appearance of the penis. Sexual function is generally not affected, and fertility is usually normal. The key is early diagnosis and appropriate treatment. With proper care, your child can lead a full and active life. Hypospadias is a condition that can be effectively treated, allowing your child to thrive. 
We hope this information has provided you with the understanding and reassurance you need. At the BBZ channel, we're here to support you every step of the way. If you suspect that your baby boy may have hypospadias, it's important to talk to your doctor. They can diagnose the condition and recommend the best course of treatment. Thank you for joining us today to learn about hypospadias. Remember to stay informed and take care of yourself and your loved ones. Be sure to follow us for more helpful tips and insights on your parenting journey. You're not alone. We're in this together. Parents, we know how important it is to be informed about your baby's health. That's why we've created this special guide on hypospadia as a common condition in baby boys. Learn what it is, how it's treated, and what you can expect for your child's future. Once again, we are here to support you on every step of your parenting journey.